Hey everyone, James Reeves, TFB TV. Got something for the Euro homies out there because unfortunately, a lot of our US viewers, we can't buy suppressors that come from Europe. You can have companies like B&T who will set up shop in Tampa, Florida. They can turn out as many suppressors as they want, but unfortunately, uh, importing them, it's a no-go. But that said, we're here at Acheron. We actually showed you a couple suppressors from Acheron at Enforce Tech or EWA or something a, a few weeks back. But we've got another line of Acheron suppressors here at Austria Arms Action Days. Yeah, so we make uh, multiple suppressors for almost everything from 22 to 50 cal. Uh, but what I want to show you today is our MLR. That's a, a precision rifle sniper. Uh, suppressor that we make from grade 5 titanium. It's a tubeless design. It's all fully laser welded and it comes with our uh, QD system. We call it the Hexalog. This is the Hexalog L, uh, L for large. Uh, this covers calibers uh, 7.62, the, the bigger ones, not the 308, but like a 300 Vin Mag or Norma Mag or whatever, all these uh, bigger 300 calibers are out there. And then uh, we go up to 8.6, so 338. Lapua and Norma and whatnot. So that's what we cover in in this platform, in this uh, in this size of of muzzle brake, and the suppressor just attaches over here like that, and then we pull it close like a left hand thread. So uh, whenever you'd have to use a lot of force to get it off because it it, it gets stuck, uh, typically it doesn't, but it, it can get stuck if people put a hot suppressor on a cold barrel. Mm -hmm. um, and then you can you can apply a lot of force, and because it's left-hand thread, you are not going to unscrew the muzzle brake. You mentioned that this is rated for 300 VIN mag. Is that similar to the 300 Win mag that we have in the United States? Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty much. The I'm same. fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> it's just uh, had to do it. I had to do it. You know, love, love a good old Euro joke whenever I can make them. No, uh, it's, it's the metric. Uh, yeah, that's the, the uh, metric. Yeah, yeah. All right. So talk to me about the construction of these suppressors. It's a uh, it's a pretty thin wall. So yes, we have a lot of internal volume uh, given the outer diam uh, diam dimensions, and uh, it's grade five titanium. Everything except for the locking mechanism. That's steel. It's a uh, nitride treated steel. But other than that, it's grade five titanium. It's all made from bar stock, from, mm -hmm. from solid bar stock. And it's, uh, uh, it's individual baffles that get stacked and laser welded. That's uh, that's what other companies do as well. It's that's not. Well, it's a science. great. It's yeah. It's a great design. I mean, yeah. it works. It, it works well. Gives you good internal volume. Exactly. Uh, what I worry about whenever I hear titanium, and I love titanium. I, yes. I own more titanium suppressors than I do. I feel like that's probably not true, but I would want to. I love titanium suppressors, but I worry about heat erosion. Yes, yeah, so that's not that big of a deal on a bolt action rifle, actually, because yeah, uh, it's a non-issue virtually. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And we do have a muzzle break. So the brake acts like a, a sacrificial baffle that, that takes a lot of the erosion away from the baffles of the suppressor itself. And uh, typically, bore erosion is, is not a problem at all. Is it safe to say that there's no reason to have in canal or, or steel suppressor on, a, a bol on most bolt-action rifles? Yeah, you could say that. Um, on a bolt action rifle, you want uh, a lightweight suppressor because lighter weight gives you less uh, point of impact shift. And uh, yeah, it, does, it doesn't make any sense to have a heavy suppressor that is full auto rated on, on a bolt action rifle. So in Europe, most hunting style suppressors are made from aluminum because it's perfectly fine for, for single shots or maybe two or three shots. And uh, it, it's not going to heat up as much to, to cause a problem. Uh, aluminum is, is, is only problematic if the suppressor heats up above, um, let's say, 100 degrees centigrade, uh, whatever that's in retard units. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, but uh, I, I think titanium is the best material for, for bolt action like sniper rifles because you're not going to fire just one round l like a hunter. Uh, you, you're probably going to do strings of fire, and, and then titanium gives you uh, the, the best in between, between the heat resistance uh, of Inconel and the light uh, weight of aluminum. 
I think that's going to be like the James Reeves mission for 2025 is to <laughs> convince people like, you know, there's no reason to have a steel suppressor on a bolt action rifle. You know, it just the more I, I know about it and the more titanium suppressors that we're seeing out there, it just makes no sense to even have a steel uh, suppressor on a bolt action rifle. So thank you for confirming what I already believed and I've said on this channel before. Now, the last and, but most important pair of questions, how much does this cost? And when's it going to be available? I assume it's out now. Yeah, yeah. And it it's costs been out for, it, It's been out there for, I don't know, a year or two uh -huh. or something around that. Uh -huh. And um, the MLR retails for, I don't even really know what, what the price in Austria would be, around two grand or so. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, thank you so much for speaking with us. As usual, you always do a wonderful job on camera. Thank you. Guys, you do a you wonderful well. job. <laughs> well, I try my best. I try my best. This is 10 years of TFB TV. I've been doing this bullshit. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll bring you more from Action Days here in Deutsche Fagram, Austria. Take care.